another video hope you all are doing fine in this video we will cover installation of softwares required and give you overview of all the softwares first of all you will require a good code editor to write the code as a good code editor will help you in writing clean code and it will be easier for you to debug the code afterwards so we will be using visual studio code for this playlist as it's a it is developed by microsoft and it is so easy to use and it is lightweight so we will prefer visual studio code you can download it from the official website it is free for all you can download according to your operating system mac windows linux it is available in all the platforms keep in mind to download the stable version because it is the most stable version available the insiders version will have a lots of bug so ignore it now let's move to node.js Node.js is an open source JavaScript runtime environment. It will be useful for us to run the React application, the website. As you can see here, there are two versions available in Node.js LTS and current version. LTS simply means long term support. If you move to the download section, you can find all the versions for different operating systems for Windows, Mac OS, and you can also download the source code and tweak it as per your needs. Node installation will also include npm. npm is a node package manager. To install any libraries in node, we use the node package manager, which gives us access to a humongous number of libraries, such as payment gateways, authentication, and many more. Question might arise to you that why are we installing node? Yet we are learning React. In React, we use JSX, which is combination of JavaScript and XML. Our traditional browsers do not support JSX, they can only understand simple JavaScript. So JSX will not run in browser just like that. For example, we can use Babel to help browsers cope up with JSX. Babel will simply translate our JSX code to simple vanilla JavaScript. But major downside of using Babel is that our JSX code will be compiled again on every page load. Like if we are opening is a setup page after the docs page then the Babel will convert the JSX format into the JavaScript so that the browser can understand it and display the output so this isn't efficient what's more efficient is to compile JSX while building the site server side most of such tools are node based so that's one of the reason node.js is often used so that was all guys for the installation i hope you have gained something from it so get subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video if you have any suggestions kindly mention it in the comment box down below and do share it in your social media and do tag me social media handles are linked down below see you guys in the next